I had a profound heart awakening about 12 or 13 years ago during my midlife wake up call. <laughs> it was like a reawakening to my heart and soul. And I've been kind of on this journey ever since to explore the mystery of the heart and to try to understand, maybe isn't the right word, but exploring why or how it's been so transformational to me. And it's, it's a very difficult thing to talk about. And the closest I've ever found is in the poetry of Rumi and maybe someone like uh, John Keats, or, you know, the poets speak the language of the heart and music to me, yeah. wordless music even. Yeah. But your book also, I think I could sense there is a struggle to try to describe the experience of the heart. And you even created kind of your own new language around it. Yeah. To the difference between conceptual thinking and the realm of feeling, not emotion at all, but feeling, which is the realm of the heart, uh, because that, that's really two different time streams. Conceptual thinking is, is really concerned ultimately with truth, searching for truth. And that comes in a lineage from the past. You know, so what somebody else wrote, somebody else said, I'm taking it up in this way. So that's a time stream from the past. But feeling, which is um, what the very word means, feeling is touch. It's knowing as if you're intimately in touch with the actuality rather than the distance of conceptualizing. Uh, but that has to do with the time stream from the future. There's a time stream that of the not yet that is arriving, but you can't know it because it hasn't been here before. <laughs> but you can, the heart can feel it. The heart can feel the presence of the emerging. And I got interested in that because of... Uh, Psychology is so concerned with the past, which always seems strange to me of people coming into a session of therapy and, and they want to be different. And we start saying, well, tell me all about your past. <laughs> yeah. And the, so you know, the moment that's done, it's kind of stuck. It's going to be that and, and rather than let's see rather than what pushes you around from the past, what is pulling you from the future? Let's well, be so much more interested in people's becoming rather than what they bring that uh, kind of holds that back. Mm. So that, that's, that's one. And, and then the way, of, the way of hearing that has to be through the heart. Can't be just conceptual hearing because then it'll be somebody talking about themselves rather than from within their very being. And we're together in an acoustical space that reconfigures itself as it's doing right now. I mean, the, the, the particular words are not first, it's the acoustical space that then momentarily configures into these words, then dissolves. And we're, we're in this non-dual realm in the heart. Mm -hmm.